Volunteers count bats, not sheep, during Wisconsin summer nights. They are the heart of a bat roost monitoring project that began in earnest in 2010. Volunteers' nocturnal observations are helping Wisconsin learn more about our bats and how to save them. Bats in North America are threatened by the disease known as white nose syndrome. White nose syndrome is a devastating disease that affects bats in caves and mines as they hibernate during winter. The disease has a mortality rate of up to 95% at affected sites and has the possibility to cause regional extinction of formerly common species of bats. Most bat species found roosting in buildings and bat houses in Wisconsin are susceptible to the disease. The Roost Monitoring Project helps the bat program gather baseline data before white nose syndrome occurs in the state. To conduct a roost survey, situate yourself so that you can see the bats exit against a night sky as they fly out. Bats begin exiting about half an hour after sunset and will continue to fly for about 30 minutes. The Roost Monitoring Packet details all information needed for site selection and a survey. Equally important as how many bats are in the roost is the phenology of the colony, that is, knowing when the bats return in the spring and when they leave in the fall. Getting a grip on these bat habits will help us aid in their survival and continued service as nature's pest control on the farm, in the forest, and at the backyard barbecue.